What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we have got a very spicy video. This is going to be a combination that I don't think you have ever seen. It's something that I've never seen, and it's something I created just the other day, and I cannot believe how many wins I've gotten with it. Okay, you're looking at it right now. Pyrotechnic, one of my favorite cards, okay? I think it's a great thing to use right now, especially part of Evolution. Meteor, and then the rest of it's kind of a Meteor deck, okay? But Pyro, it's kind of in the place of maybe Reaper. It does that extra damage that you need when you're playing Meteor, especially if you have a lower level Meteor. Uh, Cold Mage, Max Cold Mage, super, super good. And then Harlequin Mime helps out in a bunch of different ways, okay? Because it helps you spam out Meteors if you need to. But the Harlequin, you can also copy your Pyro if you're just desperately in need to get to an odd number so that you can, you know, output the right amount of damage and all those things. But let's check out the talents really quickly. So I've only got a level 9 Meteor. Uh, I've got Fiery Bolide in there. I like the orbs. I like building them up. You can get up to 300, maximum of 300. A little bit tougher with this deck just because um, Pyro outputs so much damage. So it's taking away all that extra damage from from Meteor, but still pretty good. And then the talents for my Cold Mage, I'm going right, left, left, dead middle, because the dead middle, dead middle, it's also deadly cold. It's the only one that you have the option to. Fierce Cold, Heat Leak, and Blizzard. And the deadly cold is super, super useful, especially with Pyro and especially with Meteor. Kind of acts as the executioner finishing things off. And I've also got Snowflake. A quick look at my equipment. We got Snowflake in here again to just kind of help finish some monsters off, help with a little extra slow, uh, even though the slow doesn't last with my only level four snowflake, but level three spear, level two hunter's jacket, as well as a level one all epic uh, magic amulet. But without further ado, let's jump in to the first match of the day. Jumping into a game here and let's see what we can do. Like I said, this is one of the strangest combinations I've ever played but we have been playing it a little bit in the last couple of days, and I'll tell you what, I've actually found a decent amount of wins from this very, very unique play style. So let me break down kind of how this deck works, okay? We're rocking with Pyrotechnic once again. The biggest reason for that is because I absolutely love Pyrotechnic as a card. Pyrotechnic as a card, I can't speak, but I do love them as a card, okay? If you've watched my channel for the past couple of years, you'll know that for a fact. Okay, it does pretty good damage. It works well with Hex. It's got an interesting interaction to whether it, if it has one Pyro on the board versus if it has two, an odd number versus an even number. Uh, very, very cool interaction. It's just a little bit weak compared to some of those other damage dealers. I don't think that's a secret. Uh, but for this week, having it periodically get leveled up because of the what's it called uh i wanted to say headhunter but i don't remember what it's called. Uh, evolution that's what it's called evolution right so every one minute it get it's it gets leveled up by a rank so what we're going to be doing in today's video and in, in this game is we're going to be rocking with pyro okay we're going up against a guy who's running corsair executioner certainly this is going to be a tough match certainly 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 um but we're going to be rocking with Pyro, one, maybe three. I don't really need anything more than that. And any of the excess that we need to take care of on our board, we're just going to spam our board and send Meteor. So it's kind of like a half regular damage deck, as well as a half Meteor deck. And we've got Harlequin Mime, as well as Cold Mage, and Meteor. That right there is a Meteor deck in its own. And then with Pyro... Pyro plus Cold Mage is a good combination. And then Pyro. I was trying to find a Meteor. Didn't find a Meteor. All right. I'm just going to combine out a couple of these. Um, Harlequin also helps out a good amount with Pyro. Just in case I don't have the right amount, I could just copy that guy, go from there, and we should be all good and dandy. But guys, if you are enjoying this video and enjoying these combinations that you probably have never seen, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, uh, and also share the channel with your friends. If you enjoy the content and you think they might too, share it with them because it helps grow our Rush Royale community and enables me to continue making the content that you guys enjoy so much. Which also reminds me, speaking of our Rush Royale community, fellas... 
there are spots open at the beach. Our clans, we've got four clans currently. Okay, we've got beach bums for the uh, veterans in the game, beach buddies and beach brawlers for those who want to be competitive, but are maybe in that middle tier of crit and whatnot. And then we've also got beach bros for the introduction people into the game. Maybe you've been playing for a week. Maybe you've been playing for a couple of months. Maybe you don't play all that often. You just want to be part of a community. Come on by my Discord. Link is in the description. And we'd absolutely love to have you guys at the beach hanging out with your peers. Uh, and, uh, yeah, all you got to do, follow the link in the description of the Discord. And, uh, and we'll be able to check that out for you. So, Tamer, as of right now, we're really not that worried about Meteor. This is the only kind of problematic part of this deck. Maybe I shouldn't say only because obviously this deck probably has many things that are problematic, but uh, we're not really building up damage from our Meteor because we're not using it at all. So that can be an issue, but uh, as of right now, I'm pretty happy with how this board looks. Some games look way more Pyro and some games look way more Meteor. So we're just going to have to see how this game ends up panning out and, uh, and kind of go from there. I'm just wondering what level this guy's Corsair is. Because that's all what is dependent on if we win or lose. But I hope everybody is having a fantastic morning, evening, night, wherever you are around the world. Thank you guys for joining me today. It's a beautiful morning here. Bright and early. You absolutely love it. I guess I'll just keep on combining out. I really don't want so many meteors. Uh, there we go. So now you'll see that we don't have the right amount of pyros, but we do have a bunch of meteors. So this is the wave, and we got Bedlam coming up. This is the wave that we're going to attempt to try and start building up our damage with those, uh, with those orbs of Meteor so that we can kind of push the issue a little bit here. We still have a little bit of extra damage from our pyro, so we don't, we're not in like risk of losing. But I'm gonna hit my snowflake uh, when I see a mini boss, and then I'm gonna start spamming meteors until I get an odd number of pyro. So a little bit of a sketchy time right now. I'm gonna hit it right there. Let's just do a meteor here. That should be good. I'm also gonna do one right here. That one is an orb, so that should do pretty well. We've got the right amount of pyros. We do not have the right amount of pyros. And uh, yeah, it's okay. We're gonna spam a little bit more. And right there, okay, so we're back up to three. So we should be in an okay position here. And uh, we were able to spam at least a couple of orbs which I think is good, but with this deck, you definitely have to be very, very patient because things can get out of hand rather quickly, especially when we're going up against Bedlam, which may prove to be a little bit interesting. I'm just going to do that right there, see what kind of damage output we can have, and, uh, and hopefully we take out Bedlam before it switches us because I really just don't want to deal with that. Okay, so we're good. Uh, 1,800 mana. I'm just going to spam Cold Mage right there. I really, really was tempted to poke my board and get a couple of cold mages, but I'm deciding not to um, because you never really know what we're going to get. We could get a cold mage, and it could be all great and dandy, uh, or we could get a pyro and then be stuck at four, and it we could be in a whole lot of trouble. So let's just be patient. He did get moved around, but he's got a couple of rank fives, a couple of rank ones and a rank two, as well as one high-ranking executioner. So I think his board's still pretty decent. I'm going to keep spamming Snowflake. I think you could probably use a couple different bosses in this uh, deck. Or not bosses, heroes in this deck rather than Snowflake. I just like Snowflake because it uh, it just adds to the damage a little bit. I'm going to spam out a couple of Meteors here uh, just to try and bump up the damage a little bit. Let's just do this, get back to five. We've got Virus in 26 seconds. So I think the fact that we kind of spammed out a little bit of Meteor just to help out a bit was really, really good, and uh, and hopefully we'll be okay for the next 16 seconds. If not, I'll spam out one of these guys. I might even do, I might even do that just because um, it'll make Tamer a little bit or Virus rather a little bit weaker. So I'm gonna do that right here. That should be pretty good. And two seconds, we should be fine. Take a hit. Oh, he took a hit right there. That's absolutely massive. Let's see what we can do against this. 1.4. We'll take this out, no problem. We got 2,000 mana. So I'm just going to take my time. And uh, I'm assuming he'll be able to take this out. 2 mil. Yeah, he's going quicker than me. And with our Cold Mage, this is one of the reasons I absolutely love Cold Mage. It's taking us so long to take it out. Take Virus out. So by the time we do kill it, even if we weren't able to kill it, 
most of the virus. Oh my gosh, dude, that was unbelievably close. Most of the virus is going to be all gone. Okay, but right there, this is the exact reason why you play Pyro right now. Because he's at a rank 6, it makes him viable at least uh, in today's meta when r normally he really wouldn't be. Normally he really wouldn't be. But okay, we've got Assassin, we've got a couple of Cold Mages. I'm definitely a little bit nervous now, okay? He's got, he's got a rank 6 uh uh, Corsair, two rank fives, a rank three. He's got a lot going on over there, but we do have this if we need to. I'm going to probably do it sooner rather than later just to see what we can find. I'm going to spam that out. We're going to copy a couple of these, see what we can find. I'm going to spam one of these out. Also, we got back to five pyros right there. They're getting pretty far on his board. We've still got 1,400 mana. I'm going to spam out right there. Try to work on this banner lord. I'm actually going to do one more when I think they're all lined up, but they're getting all the way to the end of his board, and there is a victory. Hit him with the good game. Okay. I'm assuming his card level's maybe a little bit underwhelming. Okay. Level 6 gadget, though, is decent. Max mana robes, level 14 magic amulet and max uh master's bow which critical damage is such a mistake for this guy who's running corsair such a mistake if this guy had a max spear on his corsair i think he probably would have won let's check out what his actual card level was it's only a level nine corsair that makes me feel a little bit less excited but we only have a level nine meteor and only a level 14 pyro but there's one win in the books you can see already that this deck works and let's jump right on over and jump into another game guys it is absolutely hilarious to me that this deck works even slightly okay meteor holds its own and then pyro is also doing work very very cool uh let's see if we can find a match and uh, get into match two match two is underway and we've got tribunal as well as a single pyrotechnic on our board. This is absolutely how I want to start this. And let me just break down kind of what my thought process was when creating this deck. So I think it's a little bit unique, okay? I know this deck is weird, okay? But it has been working. And this is what I was trying to figure out, okay? I love pyro. I think it's great. I think it's awesome to play this week because you get that extra booster. Um, but we also... I mean, I've been running into Witch 90% of the time, okay? And if you're playing weird decks, typically you're not doing setup decks with, with uh, Portal Keeper. Typically you're not doing spam decks, okay? There's so many decks you can create out there that don't fit into those categories. But if you go up against Witch, you're going to be in so much trouble, okay? So I was trying to figure out what cards I could use that would eliminate the ability from Witch. And you might be looking at me and going, guy, if Witch hits Pyro, it's all, it's all over, it's all done. You might be right, okay? But if I go up against the guy who's playing a Witch deck, which we're not right now, so don't worry about it, I pretty much just try and combine out my Pyros as much as I can. I go full Meteor deck. I see a Pyro, I combine it out. I don't care about it whatsoever, and I can just play full Meteor. If I'm playing against somebody like this, I can take my time, I can build my pyro up, it's going to be a rank 3, it might get ranked down to a rank 2 because of Tribunal, but I can really have a high output damage all over the map from pyro uh, when I go up against these guys if I'm not worried about Witch. So, in my mind, it's kind of a best of both worlds, Witch doesn't really affect Meteor all that much, it does like a little bit, like it decreases the damage when you merge them, but like, realistically... The two main cards that don't get affected by Witch, to my knowledge at the moment, is realistically uh, Meteor's a big one, Reaper's a big one, maybe if you're putting it next something next to Hex, that's a big one. Other than that, you know, most cards are affected. You know, certainly Demon Hunter, certainly Blade Dancer, Corsair is, Inquisitor is. I mean, most cards that are just normal damage output units are affected by which so you got to kind of think a little bit outside the box on which uh, on avoiding which and you know whatever all right minute 20 i'm gonna hit my snowflake here i'm gonna spam right here we did get a couple of pyros i'm just gonna combine those out we're just gonna go all the way out here i'm even gonna go there 
And uh, that should be all good and dandy. We only have a rank one cold mage, but that's okay. And, uh, and yeah, I think we're in a pretty good spot. If I see a couple of spots where I think there would be some pretty high damage just like this, I think that's a decent little meteor right there. 11, not amazing. But I do want to start building up my meteor here and there. So we're going to try and spam a little bit. But you look at my board right now. I've got no uh, no orbs. So it really doesn't matter if I'm spamming or not. we got Warlock next. Uh, meteor is also pretty decent about taking out bosses. So that's the biggest problem with Pyro. It's great about handling waves and little monsters. But when it comes to bosses, it falls off pretty quickly. So... That's one of the reasons I threw Meteor in here, because I can use it for bosses, and I can use it for mini bosses, and then Pyro can kind of take care of the rest. So very, very interesting. I understand. Try it out. Let me know if you can got, you guys can find any wins, and please let me know in the comments if you guys have ever seen this deck, because I feel like you haven't. I'm going to just spam that down right there, just to try and push a little extra damage and get some orbs. And uh, I'll just do that for right now. Whoo, it wanted to take away my rank 4. That would have been sad. Okay, I want to combine these out right here, but I don't want another rank 2. Uh, I'm going to spam, and I'm going to do that. Okay, so we got some cold mages. We're going to max out our cold mage. Bedlam incoming. I think we're in a really, really great spot. I absolutely love when Bedlam's coming, because Bedlam's great with uh, cold mage as well as meteor and uh, pyro. Yeah, it's not great. If I have like a max pyro and it gets switched with bedlam, that's kind of sad, but not necessarily the end of the world. So I'm not too worried about that. But 50 seconds, we're doing some pretty good damage. Cold Mage is building them all, grouping them all together, which is so fantastic. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see if we win this game or not. Again, maybe he's supposed to win. I'm really, I really couldn't tell you. Uh, his deck, you know, we know his deck. It's it's a pretty common deck, but. Uh, Maybe he's, maybe we're supposed to win. I don't know. Let's just spam out a couple of times. I'm trying to find another Meteor. We'll do that right there. Boom. That was a pretty one. And uh, we got back to three Pyros, which is pretty good. We've got a uh, 100 million uh, Cold Mages. He's laughing. I'm not sure why. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why he's laughing. I really don't know why he's laughing. It's fine. Let's just spam. I'm going to do that right off the bat. Oh, we'll do another one. Maybe that'll kill. Oh, we didn't. All right. So we're okay. I'll spam a little bit. We've got so much mana to spare. It shouldn't really matter. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go out on any mana or anything. He's got one rank five. He's at, he's at 33 tiers. We don't have any pyros on our board. But like I said, this is one of the things that's so fun about this deck. We're, we're completely switching it up now. We're, we're fully going in on Meteor now, because that's what we have. And if we find one Pyro, that's a good thing. We're, we're good. If we find one Pyro, we're in business. 45 seconds. We've only got a couple of Cold Mages, which is a little bit upsetting. But uh, I'll hit my Snowflake in just a second right there. I'm going to do a nice big Meteor right here. That was pretty good. And we actually got a rank 4 out of that for Pyro. And uh, 27 sec seconds, Virus is coming. I'm going to spam a little bit here. We're going to get another Meteor right there. I'm going to do, um, I'll do one more big one, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to go here and combine out. I'm looking for some rank twos. Yeah, here we go. So we got a rank two. I'm going to hit my Snowflake. That was pretty good for us. I'm going to do this. We're going to do another one in just a second. Let's do it really quickly. All right, that'll help out. And with Virus, I'm not too worried about Virus. We've only got a rank 2 and a rank 1 Cold Mage. But again, we've got plenty of time to take out Virus. And we're actually taking it out very quickly. So it's going to hit us a couple times. It's certainly going to hit him a couple of times. And I think it's, it's going to affect him more than it's going to affect us. So I still think we're in a good spot. It'll be pretty sweet if this guy's laughing at us that we end up beating him. So let's just, you know, take it slowly. Take it little by little. We've, uh... Oh, we don't have the right amount of pyros right now, do we? Oh, now we do. Okay. So we've got the right amount of pyros here. 50 seconds. Cold Mage is still doing its job. I'm going to hit my Snowflake when I get a chance. Let's hit it right now. Slow everybody down here. Take our time. I'm going to just... Uh, I'll wait for that to go away, and then I'll do this. Followed by this. 
Okay, that should take things out relatively well. We should take out that grouping. Everyone's mashed up right there. I'm gonna combine out there. Spam a little bit. One uh, million to go through. I'm gonna spam out a big one right there. 800 to go through. He's having a little bit of a tough time. I can snowflake it right there. And there is a victory. Hit him with the good game. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm telling you, this deck is hilarious, all right? He's got a level four hunter's jacket. Another max bow. Guys, if you're watching this and you don't understand equipment, Ma I mean, well, I mean, okay. At least Demon Hunter crit is good, I suppose. But bow is just one of the worst weapons to have equi e equipped. Okay, sword does damage and uh, spear does attack speed. It's pretty agreed upon that spear is the best one. And if you're going to max out your rares, you're not going to be able to go forth towards epics because you just used a bunch of, the a bunch of those shards but i'll take it this guy's a pretty low level i mean i hope he understands again i don't really know why he was laughing but i'll take it guys that is going to be the end of this youtube video if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video